as a one-off game, um, right up there, probably as good as it gets. I said to John Cockrell before they went out, uh, just as they went out, I thought, it looks all right. With just, amount of, just the right amount of noise in the dressing room before and not bravado. Uh, sometimes if they're very quiet, you know, they're apprehensive and nervous. Just the right amount of noise. You think you've said the right things, you think you've prepared them right. Um, I said to him as we were going out, it looks okay. We just came out and uh, walked onto the pitch to You'll Never Walk Alone, which it, I must admit the uh, hairs on the back of my neck were standing on end, really. You're very sort of mindful of if you're a big team that you know it's a banana skin and you can quite easily go out if you don't approach the game. On the other side of the coin, like ourselves with with ourselves, you know, and we're uh, the lower sort of division team, then you're always very conscious of the fact that you know you're playing against some real good opposition. And if if they start really quickly and start well and they get an early goal, then you know it can become a rout and it can it can dint your confidence. So yes, the, you know, on both sides of the coin, I think there is that little bit of. Um, Maybe it is a little bit of fear. I don't know, but um, you know that anticipation of how the game's going to pan out. Really, everyone, you know, coming out the woodwork, phoning us, you know, can I get his tickets? And I was, oh, you know, so many people wanted tickets, and uh, you know, wanted to get me with that sort of first, meet my sister, my girlfriend, and and uh, yeah, the, every, well, everyone I know more or less went to the game, and you know, it was brilliant to have everybody there. We said we'll sit back, uh, try and soak up the pressure. And uh, when we get forward, try and pass it. The gaffer just said that you know we need to uh, we need to hold a, a good account of ourselves and, and not be intimidated and, and do the fans proud. And you know we went out there and gave everything we had. The current holders have always respected this competition, and with a squad of Liverpool's quality, it's easy for Gerard Houllier to select a side of which any Premiership boss would be proud. Sammy Hoopier and Yari Littman and a fresh from Finland duty having thwarted Germany. Nicky Barmby, Jamie Carragher and Danny Murphy were all part of England's jubilant squad. Of Sven's other men, Emil Heskey's on the bench, Robbie Fowler has a chest infection, Stephen Gerrard is suspended. Stephen Wright is drafted into the back four for the injured Stefan Honscher. There is one debutante, new signing Chris Kirkland experiences his first Liverpool match since his six... Pupia. Again, Smeech of the outlet down the left hand side. And was that a handball? The assistance flagging, it's a penalty. The assistance flag was across his chest. Well, certainly seemed to be the opinion. And the Harold's disappointment is complete. For that rush of blood to the head. Not too much doubt about it. Gary McAllister will try to dispatch it into the goal, guarded by Danny Coyne and 5,000 Grimsby Town supporters. But he's not phased, and ten minutes into the first period of extra time, Gary McAllister, to Gerard Houllier's concealed delight, finally breaks down Grimsby Town's tough resistance. Coyne was all over the place on his line, but it made no difference to Gary McAllister. And will Gary McAllister's penalty see off the possibility of penalties? And poor old David Baharrell will be just beginning to wonder exactly what he had in mind as Smith should try to guide the ball past him because that was definitely a handball and I think he knew it. Confusion rate. Campbell. Header from Allen. And it's in! It's Marlon Grooms! Liverpool players lying on the floor in disbelief. And Marlon Grooms scores his second goal for Grimsby Town. And the first was in the Weatherton Cup too. Their commitment, their 
defending for long periods have certainly deserved something from this game. And thanks to Marlon Brooms, they may well have something from this game. Penalty kicks loom large. Shot from Jevons! Oh! Would you believe it?